We're here today to demonstrate the function and setup of the Aremco 3230 screen printer. The Aremco 3230 screen printer has four different print modes. The printer has a flood print, a print flood mode, a single print, a double print mode, and a setup mode. In the setup mode, we can actuate all of the setup buttons. We have a squeegee button, we have a forward, away, and a vacuum button that we can use to set up and adjust all of the features of the screen printer. When I move the selector knob to a particular um, print mode, we can actuate a print cycle by pressing the two palm buttons located at the top of the machine. We'll cause the flood bar to flood the screen with paste. Squeegee will come down, print the part, come back up, and the print cycle will complete. When I go to print flood, the machine will now move the print yoke to the forward. And we can actuate a print cycle here as well. We'll cause the squeegee to come down and print, release. We will then flood the screen in preparation for the next print cycle. So in print flood, we will print first and flood second. Third mode is single print. When I go to the single print mode, squeegee will move to the rear, pressing the palm buttons, will cause the squeegee to come down. It will then hop up over the paste and be prepared for the next print. When I make the next print, squeegee will come back down, utilizing captured paste, come back up and finish the print cycle. In the double print mode, the squeegee will locate itself into its home position, press the palm buttons, causes the squeegee to come down, move forward, hop over the paste, squeegee comes back down utilizing the captured paste. This way we can get two print cycles such as if we're doing via fill. The final mode is the setup mode. In the setup mode, all of our setup buttons become activated. We can press the squeegee button. The squeegee will go up and down. I can adjust the down stop on the squeegee to adjust how far down into the screen the squeegee goes. I can also adjust the flow regulators, which adjust the speed of the squeegee in both the up and the down positions. I can move forward with the squeegee mechanism. This is useful for when we're setting up the limit switches in the rear. The first limit switch is for the forward distance. The second for the squeegee hop in the forward direction. The third for the squeegee hop in the rear direction. And the finally, the away switch. By adjusting the four switches, you can adjust the distance of travel of the print yoke for your part. So going back through the four modes of the printer, we have flood print. Using the flood bar, by lowering the flood bar, I can flood the printer, the screen, with ink, which will lay down a smooth layer of paste or ink. Squeegee comes down, pushes the ink or paste through onto the work surface, comes back up, and the print cycle completes. In the print flood mode, Squeegee will come forward. The first thing we'll do here when we actuate a print cycle is have the squeegee come down. It'll then travel backwards printing, lift up, and the screen will flood with ink while it's in the up position. Single mode, again it's going to go to the home position in the rear. Actuate the cycle, comes forward, lifts up, hops over the paste, and then waits. Again, we move the part, put a new part on. It's ready now to print, hops over the paste, and then goes back in, into position and the double print mode. Squeegee printer comes down, squeegee will come forward, hop up over the paste, come back down, reprint, hop over the paste, and then go to the rear position. On this particular machine, we have what we call our Mylar screen frame option. When, we're, when you're setting up a part alignment to the screen, it's normal to print multiple parts to get the alignment. With our Mylar screen frame, we only need to do one print. 
by printing on top of the sheet of mylar that's located on the holder, I can then register that print to the part underneath using the X, Y, and theta controls on my stage by moving the stage in and out, right and left, and rotation. Once it's lined up, I can then remove the mylar screen frame, set it aside, and begin printing my part. Actuate the machine, initiate the print cycle, squeegee comes down, hops over the paste, and then comes back up. Once it's completed, the vacuum is released automatically. I can remove my part, and I have a complete and printed part. I could then place my next part on the work surface and know that my registration was correct. Also, with the Mylar screen frame, it easily mounts onto the machine on the two posts on the back, comes down. To visualize this e more easily, I have a camera. The camera system will slide in and under. It will move forward and back and in and out and allow us to, on a monitor, visualize the work surface. From there, with a 10x magnification, using the X, Y, and theta and the dial indicator package, alignment of the Mylar screen frame to the workpiece can be easily accomplished. Once completed, the camera will slide out in a way and printing can continue. Two additional options on this screen printer are the speed timer, which allows us to time how quickly the screen printer prints and the multi-print cycle counter, which allows us to by set more than one print stroke per print cycle. Very good for doing via fills. For information on these and our complete screen printer line, please visit our website at www.aremco.com, where you may also get technical information on the complete screen printer line. Thank you.